Hey, thanks so much for joining us. My name is Josh Weidman, and I'm here with one of my dear friends, Guy from Israel. Guy, Hello. thanks for being here and, and being a part of these videos. We're excited to get to know you over the next few videos that you watch with us as we engage over what does it mean to prepare well to go to Israel. And we also acknowledge that there's some of you who will never get the chance to go to that land. And so we're going to do our best to bring Israel to you. I'm going to share a little bit about my story, which leads to how I met Guy, and then I'll let him share a little bit about his story. I've been uh, doing Christian ministry for a really long time, involved in the church for a long time, and went off to Bible school at Moody Bible Institute, and studied Israel, was familiar with the land, but it wasn't until I went myself that I was so touched by this really amazing place that God has preserved for us uh, to be able to learn the scriptures uh, in the actual location where so many of them happened, where so much of it took place. On my first tour over to Israel, I met this guy. He was our Israeli guide who was leading the tour that I was on. I remember thinking how cool he was, and it was great that he was young and, and close to my age. Uh, and then all of a sudden he started opening his mouth and explaining this land, and I go, wow, not only do I love this land, but I love the Bible more because I got to learn from someone who has also studied it and uh, continually leading tours and made it come all to life for me. And so that's really our hope here today uh, in, in these times with you is that we can help make this Bible come more to life by hearing some of the stories, both biblically, but also in the current culture of Israel. And, and as you understand the geography, you'll be able to apply the scriptures to your life a little bit more. And here's the guy that helped me do that the very first time I went. Again, guys with us. Guy, tell us a little bit about your story. So uh, I grew up in, in Africa, actually, in, in Nigeria, and came to, to Israel when I, in 1983. I was five years old. But my parents were, were Israelis. Um, and I grew up in the country. Uh, what most people don't understand is that Israel, it's a very secular country. It's mm -hmm. a very liberal place. It's, it's a very advanced place. And most of the Israelis um, don't know the Bible so well as, as you. Um, so th this was my kind of atmosphere. Okay. As every other Israeli, when I was 18 years old, I joined the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces and served in the IDF um, around kind of three and a half years, four years. Um, and then afterwards, um, I, I went and did a short trip, like most Israelis, we needed some time off. Went back to Israel, uh, study about um, archaeology, history, anything that could, could give me more education yeah. about the land. And today I'm, I'm a tour educator. I'm, I'm leading groups in all Israel, yeah, yeah, all, nonstop time. all the time. It's yeah. a call uh, yeah. for me to do so. And uh, I'm an expert to uh, the biblical archaeology of, of the land. Yep. And there is no better way to do it yeah. than being there. Yeah, and I know you've been trained uh, to be able to lead tours, but, but let's even take it broader than that. How did you learn about the Bible as much as, that you, as you have? How did you learn the Christian perspective on the land of Israel? Um, now, as you got into tour guiding, when did that come to you and, and how did you learn that? So it's quite ironic because we're living in Israel yeah. and that's the Jewish state. That's where the people of the book. Yeah. Uh, but most of us in Israel don't know too much about the Bible because in our school systems, They'll teach the Bible, but in a very historical way and not theological way. And many times they're going to question the history of the Bible. So the secular Jews and um, traditional Jews people like, like myself back then, uh, we didn't know too much about the land. And then through the work, through guiding people, meeting people like you, Josh, yeah. and the groups that you bring in over to Israel, for the first time in my life, like the book was opened and I was learning so much about my heritage yeah. through you. Uh, you have no idea That's what's amazing. the effect I love that, that yeah. you guys have in on us, the, the Israelis, and, and we love every one of you. Mm. And I know that you guys love us. We love you so much, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if there is any place, any other place in the world where Americans feel in so much at home. Yes. And the love that they're getting from the people. We know what you guys are doing for us and yeah. we'll appreciate it. That's great. Yeah, I think you're right. I think everybody that I've had the privilege to go over there with or lead a tour with, they, they go to Israel and they walk away going, I love this place. It's the most life-changing trip I've ever been on and I feel at home there. Part of that's you guys making it us feel at home. Part of it's our belief and conviction about the Bible and knowing that it, it's rooted in that special land and how amazing that God's preserved that for us. So that's really what we're here to talk about. In, in the remaining videos that you're gonna see here on the site, we have captured all sorts of different teaching for all different levels of people that are 
you've either preparing to go that have been or maybe can't go but someday just want to keep learning and, and maybe someday we'll actually get there. So I encourage you to just continue to learn from all of these videos. You're going to hear a lot from Guy, from myself, and there's going to be other things as the site continues uh, for, that will expose you to more teaching that will enrich your soul. So continue to watch, continue to engage in this content. We're guaranteeing you that it will be life transforming. Thanks for joining us.